Today I've got the capacitor bank out again and I'm going to zap a few things with it. I have a couple of aluminum foil strips, one uh, single thickness, one that's been folded over four times. I have some copper wire, two little coils, one of uh, about number 32 wire and one of about number 26 wire. Then I have some uh, aluminum lathe turnings, a little clump of them, but the main event is this annoying little toy that I found in the garbage here. It's called Junior Doctor and no matter what button pressed on it, it makes an obnoxious noise so I can understand it being discarded. This is going to get a little zap from the cap bank today. I've opened up this little noise maker. I've hooked to uh, the negative output of my cap bank to the uh, negative of the battery in this thing. The positive is hooked up to my chicken stick and I'll make random contact and see what happens. Let's give this a shot. Hmm, something blew up. Let's set it up again. That first shot expelled a couple of the little batteries. Let's try hitting this again, if we can get contact. Probably not too much left of that board at this point. Last shot at this annoying little toy is going to go through the speaker leads. Kaboom! Incredible blast! This time I have a thin strip of aluminum foil connected to the cap bank. And here goes. Well, that vanished completely in a puff of smoke. Again, aluminum foil, but instead of a single thickness, this is folded in four. Let's give it a try. And again, it seems to have disappeared. Here's one of the copper coils set up. This is the one made of the thicker copper magnet wire. Let's give this a try. Ah! 
A little more smoke from the copper than uh, from the aluminum. This time the really fine copper wire is hooked up. Let's give this a try. Yeah, quite a good bang there. This time I've hooked up a clump of aluminum lathe turnings. Let's give the clump of aluminum swarf a try. Last target for this video is a uh, piece of rolled up uh, extra fine steel wool. Uh, let's give the loop of fine steel wool a try. Interesting. Now this didn't detach from the connections, I don't know if it's still conductive, it may have oxidized, but I'm going to charge up and see if it'll take another shot. And it did. I probably still have contact, so I'll try one last time here. There we go. Yeah, it's still red in parts. Ah, there. It's fading away to black.